Welcome to Tech Tuesday. I'm Jennifer Gibson. And I'm Rich Dixon. Today, I wanted to share an app called StickPick. Have you heard of this one? I have not heard of this. I'd be interested in taking a look at it. All right. So basically, this is an app that helps you with classroom management. It's a way of randomly selecting students to, to ask questions in your class. So that would be really helpful. It is. It is. So let's take a quick look here. You go ahead and open the app, and I've already created a class called Mrs. Gibson. Uh, you can create your own class. Rich, why don't you try that by selecting the plus button at the top right corner. Okay. And basically it says name this class. Okay, and I'll go ahead and do you that. you could name it period one or science, math, wh whatever you need to do. Okay. And then press save at the top right hand corner. And now you have a class ready to go. You haven't built a roster. And okay. to do that, you'll select at the bottom roster. Okay, I've gone ahead and done that. And you can see at this point in time, you don't have anyone. So as you push the plus button, you can start to add in student names. So first and last name. I'll just do initials for okay. right now. That just so that no good. one thinks I'm actually referring to them out there. Now, what I love about this app is it has modes and levels. So let me talk a little bit about okay. that. The modes are Blooms, a Blooms revised mode, mm, an ESL which could also be used for ELD, and then just stick with no mode. How so, would that work? This sounds intriguing. Well, why don't you choose one? Okay, I'm gonna try the Blooms Revised. I've been really excited about some of the potential there. Now, as you pull up Blooms Revised, you'll see that you now get to pick a level okay. from the taxonomy. So you can, you can look at a student and say, you know, they really need to work on analyzing. Okay. So that's what they're gonna focus on for this week or however often you wanna change Perfect. it. So click Done. And so now, any time that you pick or James comes up randomly, his questions will be from the Blooms Revised oh, wow. on Analyzing. That is really powerful. Would you like to try it out on let's, a class I've mocked up? Let's do that. Okay, so none of the names in my class are real. They're, they're fake. So go ahead and put Miss Gibson, click, click on that one. Okay. And now at the bottom is your menu. So you're going to want to look at sticks on okay, the far right. Okay, I see that down there at the bottom. Okay. Now, the nice thing about the sticks is that it gives you a number of options in the settings. Okay. You can either tap it or shake it, okay. and a stick will randomly come up. Go ahead and tap it. All right. So, we have David Bowie. Wow, amazing. <laughs> and so, we have ESL question stems uh, brought up for David Bowie. And as a teacher, you can quickly scan through these sentence stems and decide which one's going to work best for David today. This is a powerful example of how to be able to customize instruction to be able to better meet this student's needs. I realize that. And I, I think when we talk about individualized instruction, this really can help you with that. So now here's what's really cool. Go ahead and click on Assess next to David's name. Okay. That's just so, to the left of his name there? Right. So what you did is you asked him one of these questions. Okay. Now you're going to evaluate, did he give you an answer that was correct, incorrect, or an opinion? Now I want to stop you real quickly there because what I love as a teacher to be able to administer this, it looks very easy and seamless. I didn't have to go ahead and pre-populate this, write out extra questions, and then fill in manually his no. response. I just get to go ahead and record whether it's, it's correct, it's incorrect, amazing. or an opinion. And I think this is going to help for a lot of different classes. Oh, now, look at this. Okay. This is even cooler. So you just asked a question. You said he answered correctly. But what did he do as far as his response? Was it elaborate? Did he have just a little bit of detail? Was it a complete sentence? Go ahead and scroll through there at the different options. Okay, I'm going to say it's a simple sentence, but I love the fact here that we have a rubric. As teachers, we love we rubrics. We love rubrics. Okay, so go ahead and hit reset stick. Okay. So now that information gets saved into David's file. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the file now. All right. Go ahead and click on roster. Okay, I'm going to find that in the lower right hand corner there. And now select David's name. Okay. And we have a report of how David's doing. So we can see that David is in the mode of ESL. He's in the advanced or early advanced level. And the total percent correct is 66%. And then you have his total response average is 2.5. And then you can see the dates of the questions. So this is great for uh, sending home to parents, communicating with other teachers, IEPs, you name it, student studies. 
lots of neat things. And one of the things that I enjoy just by taking a look at this, it would be wonderful to use already, is send down here. I'm assuming I was just going to point that out. That Go means ahead email. And because select that. I wouldn't need to print then. Never. Which, you know, with the iPad's ability to share information easily and quickly, this is just another great opportunity. And look at the nice Easy. format that it comes in. So you can go ahead and, and send this off uh, to his parent or his, you know, other teachers, mm -hmm. wh whatever is needed. But it's a really nice thing. We can go ahead and cancel out of that. Okay, we'll do that now. And basically, yeah, delete draft. Perfect. And go ahead and go back to roster. Okay. And go ahead and go to classes. Okay. The top left top corner. Top left corner. And there. so that's it. That's stick picks. Boy, simple powerful and really a really great tool to be able to individualize instruction. This is impressive. I want to just say one thing. Uh, the uh, version that I have mm -hmm. is $2.99 uh, today at the iTunes store. So it, you know, that varies, I'm sure, on a day-to-day -day basis as if they're having a sale or whatnot. This isn't a free app, but I think it's worth every penny. Absolutely, I agree.